Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 4 in this series and is entitled Objects and Classes. Everything in the real world can be considered as objects. The doors in your room, the windows, the lights, they are all objects. The television, the DVD player, the DVDs, and even the speakers are objects. Now, one thing that you have to notice about these objects are their states and behaviors. States are your way to describe them, while behaviors are the things that you can do with them or the things that they do themselves. For example, the television uh, has a color, it has a weight, it has a model, it has a brand. Those are states. You can turn on the television or turn it off. That's a behavior. You can switch channels. That's a behavior. Consider these animals as objects. Being objects, they have states like name, speed, number of feet, weight, and more. They also have behaviors like they run, they eat, they move, they bite, and more. A cow is an object, so does a bird, so do the snake and the spider. They are different objects, but they can be of the same kind. That kind is the class. In object-oriented principles, we can say that the cow is an instance of the class of objects known as animal. In relation to that, activity number 5 commands us to create an animal Java class with name, speed, and weight states, and behaviors to change them, and another that prints the states. We will also create an animal demo class that can be run as an application and create two objects of the animal class. Notice that there are two classes here, animal and animal demo. But it is animal demo that can be run as an application. This means that animal demo is the class with the main method. Now let's create a new project. We're going to name it animal demo. It's the one with the main class. Finish. But the first class that we should define is the animal class. So don't do anything yet with animal demo. Instead, right click the package name animal demo, click new and Java class. This class will be named as animal. So now we have two classes, animal demo, the one with the main function or main method, and animal. There are three states that we need to define. The name, which should be of type string. Let's initialize it to animal. The speed and the weight, which should be of type integer. Let's initialize it to zero and the weight also to zero. The behaviors or methods that we will construct should be in relation to the states. So the first one should be about changing the name. Let's call it change name. There should be one argument which is also of type string. To start and end it, brace. There's only one thing that we have to do here, and that is to change the value of the state name to whatever is entered by the user. Another method is to change the speed. It has also one argument. It's called S. And it also does only one thing, and that is to change the speed value according to whatever the user supplied. The third one is to change the weight. It will also have one argument and all it will do is to change the weight. The fourth and last method that we will create should display the current states. We'll call it print states and it needs no argument but we will be using system that out to display all our data let's start with the name since i'm using print line i will use plus This time it's for the speed. 
plus speed. I will put the speed and the weight in the same line. So I'll just put another plus. Backslash T is an escape sequence character, which means tab. And to provide another space, we will put escape sequence backslash N. That's it. We just defined an animal class with three states, name, speed, and weight, and four behaviors or methods, change name, change speed, change weight, and print states. Now double-click animal demo. Under the main string, we will instantiate animal class two times. Remember scanner, animal, we'll name the variable one or the first instance as animal one equal to new animal class. Let's create a second object or instantiation animal two is equal to new animal class. Now let's try to change the states of animal one animal one. When I press dot you can see that the states already appear, name, speed, and weight. So as the behaviors or methods, change name, change speed, weight, and print states. Let's start with the change name. Let's make it cow. Let's also try to change the speed. The cow is too slow, let's make it only 10. Let's also change the weight. Let's make it 500. Now, we can print the states. Let's do the same thing for animal too. Animal 2, change name, call it Eagle. Animal 2, change speed, is faster than the cow, let's make it 100. Animal 2, change weight, and he's lighter. Let's make it only 50. Now let's print the states. Okay, that's it. Let's try to run the program. So notice, we have instantiated the class animal two times. The first one is animal one and the second is animal two. Now, you can see the animal class. But how about the scanner class and the math class and the print line method? Where can you see them? That's the reason why we downloaded JDK because JDK provides all these libraries that we can use. If you click on RTJAR and you go down to java.util there and you scroll down again you can see the scanner class. The print line, print and print app, you can see them in Java Lang here. Remember that it starts with system. There, the system class. The system class has this. out object from the print stream and from here you can see the print print line and print app okay. so that's it I hope you have understand how to create classes and how to instantiate them thank you for watching this video masalama